Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're here. We started from the bottom, now we're on the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Colin Dixon's on the hooks. I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's a C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one, here we go. We started from the bottom, now we here. All right, Clay. Today we're going over management. Yeah. You know, it, it might feel like a, a bit of a broad topic because there's a like lot kind of there. Broad. <laughs> but it's important. Yeah. And it's something that, you know, as an entrepreneur, it's one of the biggest issues you deal with day in and day out. How do you uh, inspire, uh, keep accountable? You know, how do you keep your team accountable, motivate? Uh, it's, it's a bit big issue. I think in, in business today, one of the biggest challenges is people that have this great business plan, this great idea. We want to take over the world, but we can't convince anybody to execute our business plan. Hmm. And ultimately to grow, you have to go from me to we. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to learn to, to, to get other people involved in the game. Otherwise, your old school Michael Jordan, when he was scoring, what, almost 40 points a game there, and uh, his team wasn't winning. Exactly. But with Phil Jackson, they built that team, mm -hmm. they built that team, and they started winning some championships. So we're gonna teach you kind of how to build the team. The manager's job, is what you're saying, is, is to motivate often. Yeah. And I know, I read in an article, um, it was back in Forbes, uh, 2013, August of 2013. They had a study came from the State of American Workplace Report. Yeah. Seventy percent of U.S. workers do not like their job. What? That's a Come that's on. a high number. Well, I will tell you this. I've noticed as an entrepreneur, when people I get together, we'll do some grilling at my house, and we're grilling and we're talking, and, and people will say, "How was your week?" And I'm like, oh my gosh, at the office we did this, we're doing this, we're launching this new initiative, we're selling this new product, I'm so excited about this new. Yeah. And I noticed that the people who are whoever come over, if they're not entrepreneurs, they're like, th the last thing they want to talk about is their job. I know. They'd rather talk about anything other than their jobby job because they don't like that job. But entrepreneurs, uh, as a general rule, we like our job. Mm -hmm. So the problem is, is that uh, you know, 13% of the population is self-employed. And we've got to convince the 70% who's not pumped up about their job to like their job. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Every conversation you have with them is either, oh, we're this close to the weekend. Oh, yeah. Or this close to the break. Or yeah. this close to lunch. Well, you do. Is you, if you, if you, you, I can tell you what. If you're talking to the 70%, you say, how are you? They say, ah, it's Monday. Yeah. And you time. talk to them on Wednesday. It's hump day. <laughs> almost there. And you talk to them. How, how, you see them on Friday. It's almost the weekend, like yeah. you just said. That's so All I, you're trying to do is get out of that job. Oh, yeah. Well, John D. Rockefeller once famously said, the ability to deal with people is as purchasable a commodity as sugar or coffee, and I will pay more for that ability than any other under the sun. Mm. Now, as somebody who's started a business in the dorm room mm. and grew it to the boardroom, now starting Thrive, what does this mean to you? Well, I want to show a little diagram up okay. here just real quick because I think this is huge. And uh, um, one thing, and I always like to use this board as much as possible. Yeah. No, but uh, one of the things is I have found people that have a massive, massive stack of money, and they've got, you know, it's the owner, massive stack of money, and they cannot convince anybody to do their job. No matter how much they pay them, so they offer more and more wages, more and more income, more and more. They say to their staff, hey, we'll pay you more. I'll give you bonuses. Just come on, just do your job, please. And they're begging with their staff to work. Then I've seen other people, other entrepreneurs with zero dollars who are able to get their staff to do whatever they want them to do. So, so what's the difference? Mm. It's the ability to manage people. <laughs> It's the ability to manage people. And I'm telling you, that's how Steve Jobs went from the garage to, from kind of from the garage to the garage mahal, I guess, from, from the bottom to the top, was because he could inspire a group of people to do something awesome and to change the world, to think differently. Right. Um, but the reason why a lot of people who are watching this, maybe, maybe we're struggling, maybe we're stuck, maybe our businesses aren't growing, is it's not about the money. It's not about the ability to pay people. It's not about being able to give your staff health insurance or be able to give them benefits. It's about being able to manage and inspire people. And so John Rockefeller was saying, hey, if you can inspire people, you're worth a lot more than any other commodity. Right. 
Yeah. Oh, there's tons and tons of evidence out there that majority of business owners are not good at motivating. Yeah. I mean, it's a constant struggle to keep, you know, so-and-so from texting and monitoring all the time, monitoring how much time is spent on Facebook uh, or yeah. Pinterest or whatever it is. That's their biggest fear. Yeah. But when you've set it up so that they care and, and buy into that vision, that's not something you have to worry about all the time. And so what we're going to focus on is, is teaching these 11 steps. I'm pumped up. Management steps to create the winning team for you. I get pumped up about this because I've seen it, like I've seen it actually change somebody's life. Yeah. I'll give you one example. There's a young man I know who started a business years ago, mm -hmm. and he was in that phase where he's constantly trying to get his staff motivated. Right. They just won't work. And I saw him implement these principles, and literally today he makes more money now um, passively mm by his company running than he used to make actively working full time in the business. Mm. Now he manages, works on the business mm. about you know 10 hours a week and he makes more that way than he used to work working 70 hours a week in the business trying to do everyone's job because if you're not careful, an entrepreneur will say, well, if you, you know, people, you just can't get anything done unless you do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you end up being an entrepreneur who's like the IT guy, yeah, the everything. sales guy, the, the janitor can't do it. One of my favorite stories about you, before we jump into these, is, I don't know, just to encourage you, if you're thinking, no, I have the employee that cannot be inspired, cannot. okay? He just, he's on Facebook, he can't. I feel like you're a good story, because you are a man that now doesn't need any motivation from the outside. True. But at one point, you were working at Target, you've shared it, right? Yeah, yeah. And you were doing everything you could to avoid the rules, yeah. and to, you were looking forward to that break, and doing just the bare minimum. Yeah. But you had a mindset change. Well, here's what happened at Target, just real talk. Um, you know, at Target, my job was to go out there and to take any items that people had left throughout the store. Right and take it out of the electronics section. Mm -hmm. So some people go to buy some broccoli or some underwear or uh, a deodorant, they and, they leave leave it on the and they leave it in the electronics section because yeah. they're like, ah, I don't want to buy this anymore. Yeah. My job was to take it out of the electronics section and to bring it back to whatever section it should go into all day. Got it. But I ended up having these little goals, like what I'll do is I'll go over to the concession area <laughs> and I'll see if I can get some free pretzels from Tara. Okay. Because yeah. Tara will give me some free pretzels. Right. And then I, if I check in on the clock at this time and I check out at this time, no one will check. And I can take that extended break but get paid for it. And I had all these little games I would play or the whole try to look busy when the boss walks right. by. And we've all done that before. And now I, I don't. And, and, and it's, it's just really it comes down to um, I had great management exactly. when I worked at Tax and Accounting Software Corporation. Exactly. And they motivated me, they taught me, they inspired me, and I'm a different dude now. That's why I wanted to bring it up. There's hope, even for your employee, I promise you. Oh, there yeah. Is. So let's, let's jump right in then for that, uh, that first step. Step Boom. number one is uh, casting a vision that has the power to excite you and your team. Oh, man. Okay, so we got a notable quotable here. This is from George Lucas, you know, the man at Star Wars. Are you familiar with Star Wars? I actually am very uh, a big student of the Wookiee culture. Oh, wow. I've studied that's the Wookiee culture of the Ewoks. That's good. Very well, that, complicated. I think that's a different episode. We'll yeah. learn that later. <laughs> he said, dreams are extremely important. You can't do it unless you can imagine it. It's coming from George Lucas. And this is vital, casting that vision. Mm -hmm. But most business owners don't have that clear vision. Yeah. And if they do, they're not good at articulating it to their team, right? Right. Yes. Well, let me walk you through this real okay. quick. Because this is, this is like, a, here's just an example. This is an example, and I'm sure if you're watching this, this is not you. But let me just throw one here for you. This is, a, 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 this is like a truck right here, okay? I see it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I don't know how exactly how the wheels distribution on a yeah, truck should be, but that's pretty good. Here. Okay, and they're going to call this Roy's Moving LLC. Now, I'm only saying this because years ago there was a company I worked with that was called Such and Such Movers LLC. Right. Well, first off, do you want to come work for Roy's Moving LLC? No. Think about all the concerns we have. If you worked at Apple, does Apple put on their sign, Apple LLC, oh. or Apple privately held overseas company? No. Apple International, no, we don't, we don't care. So first off, get rid of this LLC, S Corp. You're not gonna go to like Chipotle, C Corp. You right, just, right. It's boring, it's get boring. That, get that crap yeah, off okay. your car. So the we next, get that out. So the next thing is, where's this company going? Well, this guy, Roy, says, I, you know, hey, I talked to him. Hey, you know, what's your name? My name's Roy, and, and uh, I am started Roy's uh, Moving LLC. And my, my goal for Roy's Moving is to, um, uh, you know, make about $100,000 a year and get health insurance for my wife. 
Well, if I'm an employee and I'm just looking down the path, do I want this vision? Mm -mm. This is the question. Do I want this vision? And if I look here as an employee, okay, this is step one, I'm an employee, and if I move up the ranks of management to step two, where I am now in my job of my boss, so if I get my boss's job, yeah. if I move up the ladder, sure. do I want what Roy has? And the answer for these people was no. So what's the impact of that then? If well, the impact is the only people that are attracted to this job are people that A, mm -hmm. have no excitement, B, have no desire to do anything with their life. So I'm meeting the staff, I'm talking to these guys, and I'm like, what made you come to Roy's? Found it on Craigslist. Okay, I talked to Roy. Roy, has the staff motivated? No, they're not motivated. I, I cannot get these people to work. Yeah, okay. You go to the employee, why do you work for Roy? He pays hourly, you know, he lets you smoke on the job. Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, you have to have a vision. Now, if Roy's vision was, hey, our vision is to be in 50 cities and to absolutely transform the way people move. Right. To make it where when you hire a mover, we actually help you move it all, we help you set it all up, um, there's a guaranteed satisfaction, anything breaks, we replace it, it's the fastest, our moving vehicles are like, they're like a moving vehicle slash food truck. Right. And we serve food while you're moving, and we, it's just it's unbelievable. So if you don't have that vision that's big enough, you're gonna attract people you don't want on your team. You will not attract the best employee possible if you don't have a big and vision. And it's a gross idea. But if your vision is covered in poop, you attract flies. So this is the big thing is that Roy's company, oh gross, it's covered in poop, it smells gross, and this guy, the fly guy, yeah, the fly guy, he loves that poop. So if you don't want flies, you gotta change your vision up. Not even kidding, that's the real deal. So Clay, for you, when you were starting DJ Connection, you yeah. had just two, three people, how did you cast that vision? Well first off, I covered my company in poop. Oh wow. And I attracted that's flies. Okay. And so we had a guy, I know you're watching right now, guys, so I'm gonna change the name. His name is like Zolhan, we'll say. Zolhan, okay. Yeah, we'll change his name. Your name involves a Z, but we'll call it Zolhan. And he was just like, love DJ Connection, because you could, you could work with a guy who yeah. never really freaked out at you. Right. There was no consequence for being late. Was this the pothead man? Oh, this? Uh, this is a different guy. Oh, okay. There's no, there's no consequence for being late. Okay. The, you got paid cash. Yeah. You could show up if you wanted to. You had a chance to mess with turntables all day. Those and, are the kind uh, of people get. And he knew that the other employee who smoked pot never got in trouble, so he thought, well, this is a great place to go. If you smoke pot, this is a place you can work. That's not good. I attracted flies because I was covered in poop. So how did you change that? Uh, I basically started changing my vision. I said, my new vision, my vision, I started articulating the vision. I wrote it on the tablets. I said, my new vision, my new vision for DJ Connection is I, this is, this is what I did. I said, my vision for DJ Connection is we are going to over deliver with humorous enthusiasm. And our goal is to do 4,000 events and to, as a company, get to $1.5 million of sales Hell or high water in 2006. Clay, how many people were on your team when you made those goals? Two people. Two people were on your team? Yeah. That, I think, is something that entrepreneurs are scared. Those are the, the claims, the goals, the visions they're scared to grasp onto because they don't want to fail. That's and I, too and big. I, and I know I wrote it up here quickly, but I want to make sure you know this. Over-delivering. I said, mm -hmm. for moving forward, if we have a meeting that starts at 1, we will all be here at 1245. If right. we tell a customer we'll be there at 2, we're going to be there at 1.30. If we say we're going to stay till midnight, we'll stay till 2 a.m. No matter what we yep. promise, we're going to do more than we promise. And we're going to be funny. If you're not a funny person, I don't want you working for us. Because we're going to be humorous and enthusiastic when we're on the microphone. Mm -hmm. Backstory, we entertained. We were, we were an entertainment company. Yeah. Providing professional sound and lights at an affordable price to uh, people planning a wedding or party. And right. so, then enthusiasm, our job was to take a boring party and to make it epic. Right. To take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. That was our, our deal. And this is, so this was how we were going to do it, right? This is how, why we were going to do it is because we wanted to get to this goal. Good. <clears throat> so, I'm an entrepreneur, <coughs> I'm watching this. What is my action step? It sounds like I need to clearly articulate a how, 
And uh, why? Well, one, definitely get your financial goal. Write it down right now. Write down your financial goal. And if it's not big enough to inspire your team, hmm. change it. If it's a deal where people are like, um, so I can make 22000 a year if I work there, then you got to change your goal. Right. you got to make a goal awesome. Right. Otherwise, you're going to attract flies. Mm -hmm. Next thing is you have to specifically explain, well, how much business do we have to do in order to hit this goal. For me, it was 4,000 events per year. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah, so, so what we wanna do is we wanna share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay, um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but this come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts. Um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay, so 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We it was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process, and that has obviously um, the 411 percent shows that 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 system works. Yeah. So here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91 percent. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months. Or I'm sorry, the first we, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like you said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w with our with our business um, and we, we were in a rut and we the, didn't know oh, sorry. the last three years our customer base had pretty much stayed the same we weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in uh, but Thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now um, without their help.
Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Morrow. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you are looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours. On the day-to-day, -day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, gra and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building it into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and that's what I like him most about him. He's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't... His highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've got nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or, uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See, it's uh, nice, right? 
this is my old van and our old school marketing. And this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing. And this is our new team. We went from four to 14 and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grossed 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. Whoa. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you.